Hey, what's up? In the last video, we built this comments layout where we could have our post, our comment post up at the top here, and then a list view of the comments in that particular thread. Uh, just kind of, just like the Reddit app here, it's not going to look as good. Obviously, I haven't added the um, the material design stuff to it yet, but you'll have a, a post up here, and then you have the comments to that particular post. So in this video, now I'm going to add the inf the the code that sends the user to this this layout and we'll display the information from the post that they clicked on. So we'll start off by going into main activity and we'll go down to our retrofit stuff here and we'll go down to below where the list view is and we're gonna actually attach an on-click listener to the list view so that when the user uh, selects a post it will actually take them, it will execute uh, an intent and take them to another activity. So we'll go list view, what, list view dot set on item click listener New, oops, new on item click listener and let's just log that they actually did click whatever they did click so we'll go clicked and plus we'll do posts dot get the item at the index and then to string and this is giving me an error probably because it's not final so let's go up to where I created the posts and we'll go make this final that should be that should be fine so that should be okay now. And then we'll create an intent equals new intent. And we're gonna go from main activity dot this to what's gonna be called our comments activity dot class. I haven't made that class yet, but I'm going to, as soon as we're done here in this uh, this activity, so we go intent and we're gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach a bunch of extras. So if you remember what, um, what, what this activity will do here, it's going to display it's going to save all of the information from the posts in these post objects here so uh, this it'll save them in an array list of post objects and inside each one of those post objects we're going to have these parameters the post url the thumbnail the title the author and the updated so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take all these parameters and i'm going to attach them as extras to the intent so that uh, the comments activity can can use them and then i'm going to take that data and display it up here in the post so we'll attach a bunch of extras. So we'll do like, I'll just do the first one and then we're gonna have to do a little bit of a segue here. And cause I'm gonna create these strings so that we can reference them easily. This is just the best practice way to do it. So we'll go post dot get position, get post URL. And that's what I'm gonna do for each one of the parameters, each one of these. And um, if you're wondering what this is, what I'm going to do is go into values and go into strings and I'm gonna create all of these strings. So I'll just copy this. It's, uh, this, this is just what you wanna do if you have really any app because you don't wanna lose track of what these key value pairs are called. So it's always best practice to add them into your strings folder. So I'm gonna call this one post URL and the same thing, I'm just gonna go post URL here. And I'm gonna do that for each one of the parameters here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So let's do five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. So we'll go post thumbnail, whoops, capital T there. And we have post title, get that in there. And we have post author, and we have post updated. Okay, so that'll be it for now. Now we have our strings then we can reference them here. So let's copy and paste that, uh, what was it? Five times total, yeah, five times total. And we'll just post thumbnail. I'm trying to think of a faster way to do this, but by the time I waste time thinking about it, I will have been finished. So I'll just copy these all over. Okay, and this one will be the URL, this one will be thumbnail, and this is going to be the title. We have the author and updated. So there's all of our extras. Now we're just going to start activity and pass the intent. And this will send us to our other activity. So now let's create this class. I'm just going to copy comments activity, go up to here, go to new Java class, comments activity, extend app compact activity, go down, insert on create, set content view r dot layout dot activity comments which is what we built in the previous tutorial we built this layout now let's do our log up top 
and at the top I'm also going to declare all of our variables that we're getting from our intents. So we'll have like the post URL, the post thumbnail URL, post title, post author, and update it. Okay, there we go. Now we need to get those parameters from the intent. So we can go, actually let's log the fact that this activity started. So I'm just gonna say started, just to let us know that it successfully was started. Now I will go intent, I'll say incoming intent equals get intent. And that the, the get intent method here will actually retrieve the intent from whatever activity uh, we previously navigated from. Now I will declare all of our variables here, or sorry, I'll get all of our variables here, and we'll get string extra, and this one will just be at string post, this post URL, I believe. And then I'm just gonna copy this and paste it four more times. This one's gonna be post thumbnail URL, and this one will be post thumbnail, so a lot of repetition here. This one will be post title, this will be post title, this will be post uh, author, and author, and then this will be post updated, and this will be updated. So nothing exciting here, pretty boring, just getting our variables. Now I'm going to declare our widgets inside here. And you're probably going to be wondering why I didn't declare the widgets up here like I usually do. And the reason is I'm going to put all of this inside of a separate method down below later. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to get the title to start off. Find you ID, R ID dot post title. I'm just going to copy this all out. Two, three, five. Oh, actually, I don't need the bottom two because there's only actually three text views. So this is going to be the author, post author, this is going to be uh, updated, and post updated. Then we need to create our image view, so I'll just call it thumbnail, image view, find you by ID, r.id dot post thumbnail. And we're going to need our reply buttons, button reply equals button, r.id dot button post reply. And we also need our progress bar. It's called progress bar since it's going to be in its very own method, post progress bar. So there is all the widgets we need. Let's get some more space down here. Now we need to. We just need to actually set the parameters. So set text to uh, title and author dot set text to author. Updated dot set text to. Oh, I was doing the wrong thing. This is post author. This is post title. So now we need to actually attach the uh, image to the thumbnail. And to do that, we're going to need the universal image loader. So to make things easy, we can actually just copy and paste from our custom list adapter uh, class over here. We can, what are we going to, we're going to grab all this stuff up to here and go into comments activity. And I'm going to go down below here. I'm going to create a method. I'm just going to call it display image. It's going to take an image URL. It's going to take an image view widget. And it's going to take the uh, progress dialog because the progress dialog is going to be uh, visible depending on which state the image is, whether it's like displayed or not. I'm going to paste all that stuff that I took from the uh, custom list adapter class. Uh, I'm going to change all these, this context. And that will be same over here and just stick all these in here we no longer have the holder this and this is going to be the image view and we don't need the holder anymore because we're not using that build pattern and progress bar will be all those so there we go and everything else should be the same it's gonna it should work exactly the same as what we did in the custom list adapter we're just not using that that view holder build pattern that we did with the list view. So now let's go back here and we still need to set up our image loader. So I'm going to copy that and we'll go down here. 
and paste the setup the image loader. And once again, looks like we got to change the com text to comments activity this. And one thing I am going to do different, I'm going to grab that default image from right here. And I'm going to actually, because this, this method is only going to be called once, I'm going to create a global variable. I'm going to call it default image. Let's go back up to the top, private integer default image right there. And then when we call this method, which I'm, I'm going to call it only once when on create starts right here, that default image will get set. So that should be good right there. And I hope I have that Reddit alien in here. Yeah, I do. So that's fine. Everything should be good. Now what we can do is come back up here and I can go display image and I can pass the image URL. So post thumbnail URL, and then I'll pass the thumbnail itself. So this is the thumbnail widget right here. And then I'm going to pass our progress bar. And that will actually display the image uh, up here. Okay, almost ready to go. Let's uh, go into the manifest and let's add our second activity. So we'll add comments activity up here and we can close that. And I think, I think that's where I'm gonna stop this video. I just wanna get everything into this activity. Uh, oh, actually I'll do one more thing. I'll do a private void init post. And I'm gonna take everything inside here and I'm gonna stick it inside of init post and then I'm gonna call init post right there just to help keep things organized. And that looks like a lot of code, but there's really not a lot there. And let's just run it and take a look, see if we get any errors. Okay, so let's type a subreddit up here. Hit refresh feed, we get our subreddit. Now let's click on one of these posts and we can see it loads the comments. And this, yeah, so we're, we haven't set in this part yet, so the comments are just gonna load forever. But we can see that our post is set up correctly up here. We have the title, we have the author, we have the date, we have our thumbnail, and we have our button, even though it doesn't do anything yet. So everything is looking the way it should at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video here. In the next one, we're gonna go over how to actually get the comments into the comment thread, so we're gonna need to use Retrofit for that. Don't forget to leave a like, follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.